Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Hellcat Maggie Irish Whiskey. According to the bottle, it is 80 proof, and description is a unique blend of the finest Irish craftsmanship and American know-how. On the back of the bottle, Hellcat Maggie was a well-known criminal in Manhattan's Five Point District and a member of the notorious Dead Rabbits Gang. She, wa she was a fierce street fighter and actually filed her teeth and nails into points to better shred her opponent's skin. There's many references to the different product lines from this particular distillery to the movie Gangs of New York. Many of the labels have been attributed to the Gangs of New York. Now, from what I understand, my brief research on this particular product is that the distilling company Phillips, whom I never heard of before, but that's not that big of a deal, uh, threw down the gauntlet to make a brand new Irish whiskey from scratch. And they ended up creating an Irish whiskey as literal to the term, rather than say, you have a whiskey an Irish whiskey and an American Irish whiskey, which I assume there's some minor differences between the two, which differentiates the differences between the two, obviously. In this case, not. What they did is that they distilled this particular product in Ireland and then shipped it to the States and bottled it and obviously distributing it here, thus making it an Irish whiskey an American Irish whiskey, as you would find an American Irish, Irish American, as in they were born or somehow related to real Irish, but are here. A little bit of water in the bottom. This is not my normal testing glass. So, let's put the cap on. Spilled all over the place. There we go. It is a nice golden yellow. Tears up onto the side of the glass. Uh, you have to give it a second or two before it actually starts running down the sides. So it's got a fairly heavy viscous to it, as opposed to other whiskeys. It's pretty, it's just light in color, as opposed to that rich caramel that you find in other whiskeys. But it's nice looking. Let's see. Wow, vanilla. And some fruits, various fruits in there. A uh, little bit of the that, that peatiness. Very little of the peatiness, but it does come out. But vanilla, me a little cinnamon, but many vanilla and fruits with that hint of peatiness. So it smells nice. I'm not getting any of that alcohol bite in the odor. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. It does have that, that alcohol burn to it. Mosquitoes. Uh, it does have that alcohol burn. A little bit of orange, a little bit of lemon, vanilla. The peatiness comes in at the very end. But the alcohol burn comes in almost late. Oftentimes we'll get that bite, in like, like the, uh, the cheaper whiskeys, a fierce bite to the tongue. Much more expensive brands, that's what I would just, what I personally consider much more of a higher end brand. That heat doesn't bite you, but it kind of rolls in and kind of burns its way across the tongue. In this case, it doesn't. It actually starts off with these nice flavors, almost like it's watered down. And then the burning starts. 
and then it kind of rolls to, to the back of the mouth, back of the tongue. And a hint, hint of caramel. But like I said, a lot of vanilla. That peatiness kind of kind of grows, so that stays all on the palate. The burning uh, initial comes in, but the more more sips you get out of this, the less you you know it. I have a feeling that you can get drunk on this a little bit faster than you would uh, would appreciate, because it seems is that it starts off harmless, gets really uh, flush with that alcohol burn. Now that alcohol burn doesn't seem to be there so much. It's kind of feeding out. Yeah, it fades out with every sip. The peatiness kind of mounts on itself. The vanilla and the fruits, that kind of starts to fade away too, leaving predominantly that, that peatiness taste to be the, uh, the dominant flavor that's left on the palate. After, what is that, four or five sips? Yeah, now, now the burn's almost completely gone. And it starts off, fruit notes, vanilla notes, hint of caramel, just a hint. And that, that peatiness at the very end. And that kind of meets you at the halfway mark and stays with you as the rest of the flavors fade out. And the alcohol burn almost non-existent. This probably would be good, very nice on. Um, probably would be very nice on uh, on the rocks, iced out. I would say it's a little too weak for winter time or a cold, cold evening. Okay, uh, for a cold evening, it's a little weak for that. Uh, we're going. By the time this has been taped, we're into summer. So this would be nice on a hot day on ice. I'm not sure if it would be any good if it was cut with anything. Is your favorite soda or fruit juice may help. I can think of some sodas that, it would, that I would think would be quite nice with. But as a straight up sipping whiskey, it, take it cold. It would be best that way. And let's see what else about it. And like I said, it's it's a light whiskey in comparison to others that are out there. Uh, so treat it in that manner. So there you go. This has been an alcohol review of Hellcat Maggie. Give it a try. See what you think. Write any comments you may have about this particular product down below. Or better yet, give this product a purchase, try it yourself, video yourself, videotape yourself, trying it and reviewing it, and let the rest of us in the YouTube community know your thoughts. Until next time, keep on drinking.